This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by... I must insist, sir. Please let me see nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. She's a nurse. 
What can you tell me about her? Dorothy Crane, bless her soul. I really should thank her someday. Has she treated you? No. When I need a checkup, I'd go to a bloody doctor, not some back alley clinic full of sick foreigners. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages, absolute bloody savages, their appearance. Jesus. Make me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Welcome, sir. Uh, please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse, then? Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Right then. Show me what you have. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some. A colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane. Yeah, I'll know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming army. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. A scientist? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential. Nuns should be the only women allowed to... Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than... Before coming to London, she was a member of... I have heard enough for tonight.
Excuse me, sorry. Dr. Reed. I heard you're investigating. Not much. I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved. Ah, could it be Doris? Without a doubt, you are a... I don't know much. He never goes out. No. Really? He went to the nearest... He has no relatives at all? No. Where can I find... He spends... What is a gem? He goes... That's quite honorable. Not at all, sir. So you risk... White Chapel. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Please be my... Really? I'm a poet. May I ask you a few questions? Extraordinary. What can you tell me? Darius Petres... Not interested. Darius is an old... Pol I'm looking for Do Dorothy... Tell me, Mr. Nethercott. The place is not... Do you not think... On the con... What can you tell me about... Not much. And have you ever... Maybe I... Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth. One day, perhaps. I'll leave you alone, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you. Very well. Goodbye, then. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius... This is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. I'm not looking. All right, but... 
Do you know no I don't. You seem... Dorothy... Goodbye, miss. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like it. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine. Forgive my bluntness. Why should I? I'm sure your father did his best when he found this house. That's exactly what... If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? I... I don't... So that's why you stay at home all day? I'm not afraid of dis... How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Sp Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father... Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. It's locked. So, I'm not bothered. Death is so cold. I hoped it would be more... Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. <laughs> All right. Don't you see we're on the same... I'm nothing like you, Mr. Yes, you... I have to... to talk to Dorothea. We've not been formal. I am Darius Petres. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I am her... You mean... Really? I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. I know my day. But Romania... But it is not. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this. This war won't last forever. No.
Tell me everything you know. I do not. Who is she? Rich. She is not. You say she. Well, there's that all. Are you not worried for her? She is as brave as she is. Are you in love with Camellia? Don't be stupid. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. It's locked, all right. Good evening, miss. Good evening. Actually, then... Oh. Ah. Do you know nurse... I don't like... Competition. Never met her. Goodbye, Miss Swanra. Perhaps we'll talk again.
Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe, that rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis.
brought you here to test my bet. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon... Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone.